What's on the menu today? Today, I'm going to show you how to do our uh, Chinese style steamed dopaka or braised dopaka paka. Okay, let's see this. Everybody is interested in dousy approach on fish for steaming, so let's see how you do it. Okay, so we got some uh, two fresh fillets of uh, opaka paka here. Mm -hmm. Just lightly salt and pepper. And we're just going to take a little bit of flour and we're just going to dust each one. And this is just regular uh, all purpose flour. Gotcha. Just creates like a nice little crust on the outside. Dust off the extra. Hot saute pan. We're going to just take a little bit of vegetable oil. I mean, I, I'm a real sucker for fish. When I go into a restaurant on the menu, you uh -huh. know, it's got to be that. Yep. We're just going to let this brown for a couple minutes. And you can use any type of fish also, actually. Okay, so we got these both kind of nice and brown. We'll flip them over. Okay, now to this, we're going to add um, a little bit of chicken stock. You want to sear it first to, um, to create a, a, a layer on the outside that's uh, nice and crispy. It seals in the moisture. Mm -hmm. Doesn't allow the moisture to escape while it's cooking. So, so the chicken broth, you added soy sauce. A little bit of shoyu. Okay. And a little bit of oyster sauce. And a touch of sesame oil. Ooh, how can you go wrong here? And of course our dalsi. And Chinese and black beans. beans um, you cook them? I'll just let them reconstitute. Okay, in, so you can use the, the beans dry straight from the... Right, right. right. And it's going to braise for maybe about six to seven minutes. Mm. Okay, so now our fish is done. Um, I'm going to take it out to the plate. Pop our two fillets down. And then to this, we're going to add a little bit of green onions, ginger, and some red and green bell peppers. So let the flavors cook together for a little while. And from here, we'll just pour this right over the fish. Boy, this has got to be a giant hit with the local diners. We go through a lot of snapper at the restaurant mm. on a nightly basis. Ooh, then, beautiful. I cannot forget one last touch is the uh, Chinese parsley. Chinese parsley. Cilantro. Folks, we'll be right back to let you know if this tastes as good as it looks. All right. Hi, welcome back to the show, folks. If you just joined us, we're with Chef Lydell Leon from 3660 on the rise. And Chef, you've put together a terrific dish. Can you go through that for us again? This is our uh, Chinese style braised opaka paka. Uh huh. Looks great. Now, before the break, I promised I'd get the chopsticks. Okay. Where's my rice? I forgot the rice. Okay. Sorry. All right, I'm all right. sorry. Well, let's give this a shot and let everyone know how good it is. After you, Ben. I shall. Ooh, look at this. That black bean dousy steamed fish is my favorite. Oh, look at this. Oh, that's good. Folks, that's terrific. Lydell, thanks for being yeah. on the show. Thank really you for having me. Really appreciate it. And thank you to everyone else who's on this program. Folks, we're going to see you next week on Let's Go Fishing.